Timothy Leary's famous message on LSD, Turn On, Tune In, Drop Out, became viral during the 1960s, thanks in large part, to media theorist Marshall McLuhan. It provides a glimpse into how a message, even a countercultural one, might be refined by the branding techniques normally reserved for selling sugared water. In 1966, the two academics met at New York's famous Plaza Hotel. Leary was a 49-year-old psychology instructor, who was famously fired from Harvard for experimenting with LSD. He and his colleague, Richard Alpert, who would later become the spiritual guru Ram Dass, experimented with drugs to free people from the mainstream media and government. McLuhan was a Canadian scholar, whose book, Understanding Media, was getting a lot of attention itself. He famously said, the medium is the message, and thought that the nature of a media form has a profound influence on how that message is understood. Different forms of media had subtle, but distinct attributes, that combine with our cultural understandings to affect what is actually being communicated. McLuhan believed that the printed word encouraged more emphasis on visual sensory input, whereas communication from earlier oral cultures placed more weight on our sense of hearing, and therefore fundamentally changed the nature of the communication. His point has often been misconstrued, and that confusion was parodied in Woody Allen's 1977 film, Annie Hall. Hearing an academic blowhard pontificate about McLuhan in a movie line, he brings the professor over to admonish him, saying, you know nothing of my work. In spite of, or maybe even because of his dismissal from Harvard, Leary's star had been rising, and he sought advice on how he might, reach all the disaffected. McLuhan suggested he had his framing all wrong. Rather than considering himself a reformer or a philosopher, he should take on the role of an advertiser. He needed a catchy hook, to lure them in. McLuhan wrote a little jingle for him right there, based on a classic Pepsi ad of the day, Lysergic acid hits the spot, 40 million neurons, that's a lot. Leary toyed around with adapting patriotic slogans such as, Give me liberty or give me death. And the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. He even tried adapting a Lucky Strike cigarette jingle, all with no success. As is often the case with good ideas, Leary's new branding was born while taking a shower later that day, and became the inspiration for the slogan for his countercultural message, Turn on, tune in, drop out. Like McLuhan, his message was ultimately misconstrued by the public. Instead of a call to resist the various messages from business and authority, his message was often seen as an invitation to get stoned and abandon all constructive activity. The branding surely helped spread Leary's message to a wide audience, but was it all that effective? If they got it wrong, 